Welcome to the video I'm about to demo how we break down a pork crack. We have that pork crack here and we're going to clean it so then after I can cut some chops out of it. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty easy. What we want to keep is those bones need to stay on. Uh, but we need to remove a little bit of that cap that's on it here to clear the bones a little bit. Then there's a layer of fat, the skin here that I'm going to remove too. Okay. So first thing, first I'm going to remove that layer of skin that needs to go. I'm going to cut from here, an incision here, and I'm just going to peel off that part right here, just to get to my lawn. So I'm putting on the meat, and I just cut where I see an opening, like right here. This is where you want to do your cut. You pull and you cut and everything is going to come very easily. And all that go. That can be used for many charcuterie recipe. I will never get rid of that. I'm going to keep it and use it in some sausage or something. Okay, I need to remove a little bit more right here. And we start from here. Same thing. Make my little opening and cut with the tip of a knife. This way. Okay. That's much cleaner now. Okay. Leaner too. So now this is what we need to go. This is what we need to do now. Uh, we want to keep the loin that's right here with that tiny loin here. It's like two little loin. I mean two long, one small and one large. And that will be the long and that's what we call the eye uh, on the long. So what I need to remove is all the part next to that. All that here is gonna go all the way down. So I'm gonna make one long cut this way here to make my separation. Okay. After you make that cut, I'm going to cut, I'm going to turn that over here. And I'm going to remove the skin that run all the way onto those ribs here that I'm going to remove. It's going to make my work easier. So I peel it a little bit and I should be able just to peel that skin this way here. Just like that. Skin is removed. Okay. Now, I'm going to do an incision in between each bone. That incision is going to reach almost that part here, but under the bone. I'll show you. I take the knife and I'm going to cut right in between here, just like that. Do the incision this way. Okay, and now I'm going to cut, cut on the bone. This is the bone here. I'm going to do an incision right on it like that, straight down, just this way. Same on each chop. See, like that. This one I didn't do. And now, with the tip of a knife here, I'm going to push the skin off this way off the chop. You see I just expose the chop right here. Just you take the tip and you twist it on the chop to expose it this way. On both sides. Huh? You see how we're exposing the strap. Okay. After we did that, now 
So you need to grab each chop like that. With my hand, I'm going to take the chop. I'm going to put it this way. See? Take my finger and go in between like that. It's releasing itself pretty easily. The meat needs to be nice and cold. If your meat was too warm, it wouldn't work well. Again, expose the chop and you run your finger behind it. You want to be careful not to hurt yourself with the bone, of course, because sometimes the bone may have split a little bit. If you feel a, re a little resistance, maybe you need to scrap a little bit more with your knife. That was the case on that one. So then we expose all the chop. Yeah. See, they all expose well. So now what I need to do is to remove that piece of meat. That's very easy now. I'm going to take my knife and I cut it off right behind the chop this way, making sure you're not cutting into your loin. Huh? And you see that just going to come off. Just like that, very easy now to remove this. That's the piece we remove by the bone. And now you French your pork rack. This is how you do it. If you want, you could scrap those bones a little bit more. If you see a little bit of meat left on it, uh, you just scrap it off. And voila. Now you could cook that all roast like that and then slice it or slice it before into chop and cook individual chop. How to cut your chop. I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to return that. Here we have some bones left from the, what we call the shine bone. I'm going to remove those. They're flat. I'm just going to run the knife under it and remove them like that. And now here also in between each chop you have more of that shine bone that's right here in between. They're like little knuckles. We need to remove them. So using the tip of the knife you're going to cut around it to release that little knuckle here. See? Use the tip of the knife. You kind of snap it. And be delicate, you don't want to go too deep into the meat, of course. One last one. And here we have. That's all clean and removed from those little, all those little knuckles here. Now, to cut it into chop, it's very easy. Yeah. It's 10 chop, but that one here is always cut. So you really yield 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11. Okay, so I'm going to cut now in between each bone. And that's going to give me a nice pork chop. See? We have now a beautiful pork chop. Here there's a little bit left on it. So this is when I want to finish cleaning it using my knife. And you just scrap that meat off. See? Yeah. You look good. And then you just scrap it to remove what was left behind. Okay? So, when that's done, one thing you might want to do is to tie it. You may want to tie your pork chop so they have a nice little shape, you know, because after you butcher it, see this one might not look too straight, but then if I tie it, I'm going to reshape it. I'm going to show you that right now. And you have a nice looking pork chop, but when you cook it also, it's going to be easier to manipulate it. First of all, before you tie it, you see your meat here, there's that skin on top of your meat. And if you cook your meat this way, it's going to shrink and curve like that because 
the silver skin but on top here is going to shrink as it cooked and make your meat curve so what you want to do is you want to do a slight incision right here just to cut that piece of skin so now your meat even if that shrinks the meat won't curve as it cooked yeah? so again now to tie them you'll take a piece of string not too long you come by the bone and you go around your bone this way and then you're going to go around the pork chop this way and tie it by the bone you're going to go once you're going to go twice this is what we call a butcher nut and you tie it this way okay let me show you another one I take that one I take the one, go under the bone, a little loop, I go around, make sure you're in the center huh, of the meat, right here in the center, you're going around, and boom, you tie by the, the bone. You don't have to be too tight, you know, just enough to hold the shape. And this is how you do it. And now you have your beautiful pork chop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that quick demo on how to butcher and pork churn a pork loin. Thank you. Bye-bye.